This is the last section for back up and push, and this is the hokum bow section. This is how I generally teach my students to play the hokum bow. Instead of starting out with Orange Blossom Special, I start out with this song because the left hand fingerings on it are so much easier and they're a lot easier to get in tune. And so I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm going to explain how to play the hokum bow and the fingerings both at the same time so that if you've never played the hokum bow before, you'll be able to figure out how to do this. First thing that we're going to start off on is you need to be able to play double stops. So that means playing two strings at the same time. And we're going to start off in this position. It's a normal one on the G string and it's going to be a low two. Your middle finger is going to have to cover both the D string and the A string. And I guess what I'll do, let me play this through for you once first so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> start here, first finger on G, and then a low two on D and A both at the same time. You want to try to plant your finger so that, that you're fretting them both in the same place on that string. If there's a big difference in there, then it's not going to sound like it's in tune. So that's going to be it. You're going to be playing two notes on the low strings and then one note on the two middle strings. So you have and then the second time you play that pattern, you're going to add your ring finger to the A string. And your bow will actually be going the opposite direction. So it starts on a pull. And by the way, I should mention, every time you play this section, whenever you start the hokum bow on any song, you're always going to start with a push. I'm sorry, with... I need to mention that any time you play the hokum bow, you are always going to start with a pull. It doesn't matter what song you're in, you're always going to be pulling when you start this. And so we've got the first part, you're going to be going back and forth between this and adding your ring finger. So if I play it through slowly, it's going to be five times and then the sixth time you'll be pushing. So it already, always starts on a pull and always ends on a push. So if I'm counting, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm done with that passage. It's very important that when you're playing this that you don't stop every three notes. Sometimes when people practice this, they'll play rest, rest, rest. You need to keep it going. So if you have your beat going like this, and that's the end of that passage. Now the nice thing about this is you're going to get to move your fingers over one string and your middle finger is only going to have to do one string now. So I'm going to slide them over like this. So now the G string is open, the D string has my first finger on it, and the A string has a low two. I am going to continue playing the same strings that I played before, which means I'm starting out on G and D. And then I'm going to go to the two middle strings again. And then once again, I'm going to alternate with my ring finger on the A string in the third position so that I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then once again, I'm going to move my fingers over one string, same position. So now I've got open G and D, I've got first finger on the A string, and I've got low two on E. We are not going to play the G string for this one now. We're going to be starting on the two middle strings and switching to the two high strings. And once again, I'm going to be using my ring finger, but this time it's going to be on the E string for every other time. So I have... So 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the beginning. We've gone through three phrases and there's one more phrase that we have to do. It's a little bit different than the other ones. So we're going to start with phrase one, two, and three. So I'm going to start back. First finger on G, second finger covering the low two on D and A. One, two, three, four. played those very steady and I went from one finger position over to the next finger position when I changed strings there was no stopping no speeding up I didn't accent anything everything is played the same make sure when you practice this that you get good double stops on every single string you don't want to hear single notes at all during this section all double stops the last section I'm going to be moving my fingers back so it started out here and then I moved here and then I moved here and this time I'm going to move backwards now this time I'm going to have first finger on D and low two is going to be on A and E so I'm going to have to do two strings again like I did in the beginning the other thing that's going to happen is I'll be playing open the first time um, well actually not really open but <laughs> and then I'm going to add my ring finger and then the next time I'm going to add my pinky and then I'm going to get rid of my pinky go back to my ring finger and then go back to without my ring finger so that little section there one, Now that takes you through four phrases and that's going to take you back to the first phrase again. So you'll do the first phrase again. So again that's G1 and then it's low 2 on D and A. Switching to the next two strings, phrase 2 is the same. straight down. Since this is the second part of the song, of this last variation, it's going to be a little bit shorter and you're going to have to do something different in it. It sounds like this. So I start with the hokum bow, but then I don't complete one full round. And then it's going to be low two, three, low two to open slur, go to three on A, and then go to low two on A, you play that twice, and then slur from three to two. 